The number of people diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease is expected to rise over the next several decades. And the disease is already the fifth leading cause of death among people 65 and older. But testing patients for Alzheimer's can be costly and difficult to do without a hospital setting. Fox News' Kevin Ureski takes a closer look at how the results of a new study are providing some hope. When it comes to medical issues impacting health and wellness, doctors say early detection is key for people to get proper treatment faster. This also applies to diagnosing Alzheimer's disease. According to the Alzheimer's Association, nearly 7 million Americans are living with the disease, with a staggering 13 million expected to be affected by 2050. While traditional tests to check for signs of Alzheimer's already exist, neurologists point out several setbacks. Those tests include cerebral spinal fluid tests, but that requires undergoing a spinal tap or an amyloid PET scan, which uh, requires a specialized brain scan. The results of a recent study, however, could be a game changer. Researchers in Sweden gathered blood samples from more than 1,000 patients being evaluated for cognitive symptoms. This test uh, measures levels of tau and amyloid in the blood. Scientists say the new blood tests were able to predict an Alzheimer's diagnosis with 88 to 92 percent accuracy among participants. Doctors say blood tests like these could be done in primary care clinics instead of a hospital setting. With blood tests, I think that hundreds of thousands of people could be tested for Alzheimer's disease. While the study needs to be replicated across more diverse populations, researchers are hopeful these new blood tests can offer more affordable and timely results in the future so patients diagnosed with Alzheimer's can receive drugs more quickly to start slowing the impacts of the disease. Kevin Uretsky, Fox News.